All right, finally. All right, what's the difference between positive and negative numbers in physics? So let's start with what your positive and negative numbers mean in math. So uh, let's see. Caleb, we'll start with you. So in math, what's the difference between positive and negative? Negatives are less than zero. Yeah. Yeah. So in math class, negative numbers are less than zero. Positive numbers are greater than zero. That's super easy, right? That is not true in physics. So really, like, super boldly or whatever. Um, so negative numbers are not small. So, like, usually we think of, like, negative 100 as, like, a really small number. That is not what negative numbers are in physics, okay? So, in physics, what are negative numbers and positive numbers? So, negative and positive are directions. Negative positive tell you where you're going forwards or backwards, okay? This is going to take some getting used to. Luckily, it's that way the whole year. There's never a circumstance for this year, at least this semester, where positive and negative are not directions, okay? But it's going to take some getting used to because something like the following is true. Negative 5 is larger than 2. This is going to take some getting used to, but negative 5 is bigger than 2. Because negative 5 means backwards 5, positive 2 means forward 2, which went further going backwards 5. So this is something that's going to take getting used to because you've never done this in any other class. Negative is backwards, it's not small. Forwards is positive, doesn't automatically mean it's large. Okay? Um, likewise, negative 100 is more than negative 50. So the value is what matters, the positive, negative, or direction. So that brings us to this next thing, something called magnitude. So magnitude is the value of the number. Okay, so this is the direction, and this is the magnitude. So this is why negative 5 is bigger than 2, because the negative is the direction and the 5 is the magnitude. A magnitude of 5 is larger than a magnitude of 2, because 2 is the value of the number, 5 is the value of the number. That's also why negative 100 is bigger than negative 50. The magnitude, the value of 100 is bigger than the value of 50, and the direction is just the direction. It does not affect... Um, the number itself or anything like that. Okay? All right, number three. So vector versus scalar. So vector versus scalar, these are just two different um, words that describe two types of numbers. So scalar values have magnitude only. Vector numbers have magnitude and direction. So scalars are magnitude only, um, vectors have the magnitude and direction. Okay, so an example of each
each of these. So 10 is a scalar. Um, and let's even put units in here, because a lot of times people think that units um, units don't uh, factor into like scalars or vectors. Y units just describe the number, so they don't matter vector or scalar. Um, so, for example, if something's magnitude only, um, something like 10 would be a scalar, um, but a vector might be negative 10 or positive 10. So a number that's got a direction to you. So let's do some examples of each. So an example of a scalar, um, two examples of that would be mass and time. Right? You can't have forward mass and that you can't have backwards mass. Okay? So mass is an example. Uh, time is another example. You can't go backwards in time. So you can't have a negative three seconds. So you can't have a negative three seconds. Vectors, on the other hand, do have direction. So one of the things we're going to talk about today is called displacement. That has a direction. Another one we're going to talk about is velocity. So these are things that have to have a direction. Okay, and then lastly, um, the units that we're going to be using. So for right now, anything that we measure as a length is going to be in meters, not centimeters, not nanometers, meters. And anything we do with a time is going to be seconds. And in case it's not obvious, meters is M and seconds is S. We've done those, but just to be 